You got it. The other way. Yeah, you got it. Don't the city of Tucson. We're here, Tucson. We're here today to preach to you the message of the Lord Jesus Christ. The Bible says, well, it is appointed for a man one time to die, and after this comes the judgment. So my dear friend, I have a question for you, city of Tucson. Where will you go when you stand before God? Uh, uh, university of Arizona students? Where will you go when you die? The Bible says it is appointed for a man one time to die. And after this comes the judgment in Hebrews 9.37. The Bible says, if you have sinned, you have sinned to your sin. The Bible says that he will sin until the devil, or the devil has sinned from the beginning. So my question is, is where will you go when you die? You will stand before God one day to give an account of your life. Are you ready to give an account? You could die any time. You could die today. You could die tonight, you could die in five minutes, you could die tomorrow, you could die Saturday. This is why it's important for you to get right with God. The Bible says that it's a point for a man one time to die, as I said before, and after this, the judgment. I'm here to give you guys bad news and good news. The, Bible, the bad news is we all have a soul of the glory of God, all have sinned, we're all sinners. I'm a sinner, he's a sinner, you're a sinner. You need a, but you need a savior. You don't have to be a sinner anymore. The Bible says that he was sins of the sin. And he was sins of the devil. Not everybody is a child of God. True. Most of you guys fall into this misconception that everybody is a child of God. No. I don't know whether God's creation, but not everybody is a child of God. If you want to be a child of God, you must be born again. In order for you to make it to heaven, folks, you must be born again. John 3, 3 says, unless a man is born again, he cannot be the kingdom of God. If you do not, have Jesus Christ in your heart. You must accept him now before it's today for you. We're here from California all the way to Arizona just to preach to you guys. We want to see so saved. We want everybody to be saved. The Bible says in Acts 17, the Apostle Paul, how many of those group of people say that he, God commands all men everywhere to repent. He commands you to repent, my friend. You must repent of your sins. You must turn away from all your sins and you want to go to heaven. In that chapter, chapter 17, verse 26, it says here, in that chapter 17, verse 6, verse 30. Give me a second, And time, in this ignorance, God waits at but now, command them all men ever to repent. You must repent of your sins, America. God's will is coming. The wrath of God is coming. You don't repent of your sins. For somebody who is a child here in America, gave his marriage is legal here. But it's legal in God's eyes. The Bible says in 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 9 to 7, we do not know that the righteous and may inherit God's kingdom. Do not be deceived, neither fornicators, nor idolaters, nor adulterers, nor homosexuals, nor thrivers, nor thieves, nor drunkards, nor revilers. No torturers shall inherit the kingdom of God, but such were some of you. But you were washed, but you were sanctified by the Spirit of our God and the glory of His power. Many of you guys want that nothing is happening. You guys um, live however you guys want. But I'm here to tell you that God will free you from every, any, whatever thing you're doing, my friend. You, you don't have to um, look for your life in alcohol. You don't have to commit suicide. Jesus Christ will cast you. He's waiting for you with open arms, my friend. Come to Jesus Christ before it's too late for you. Romans 8, 1 says, If you come to Jesus Christ, there is no condemnation for you, but you must walk in the Spirit, and you cannot come on the flesh. You could be free, my friend, from all your sins. Your sins separate you from God. That's a problem. In America, most people are too prideful. They don't want to admit they're sinners. You have to admit you're sinners. If you want God to forgive you, God will forgive your sins. God can forgive you. God can forgive everyone, my friend. That's what we're here for. You're here because we want to rescue your soul from the place of hell. The Bible says in Revelation 20, 16, that your name is not going to listen in the book of life. You'll be cast into a lake of fire. That's our sad news. Isaiah chapter 6, Mom, verse 15 says, And when ye spread forth your hands, I will hide my eyes from you. Yeah. When he made your prayer, many prayers, I will not hear your hands, I will blood. 
what you make you clean. Put away all the evil from your doing. These two do evil, just do the will of judgment, and release the oppressed. Judge the fatherless, slave for the widow. Come now and let us reason together, says the Lord. Though your sins may be as scarlet, they shall be white as snow. Though they be red like crimson, they, 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 they shall be as wool. If you be willing and obedient, ye shall eat the goods of the land. But if you refuse and rebel, ye shall be devoured with a sword. For the mouth of the Lord has spoken it. This, this nation, this is what represents America. America is full of crime, full of gladly, full of adultery, full of homosexuality, full of abortion. If you are a pregnant woman, for really for committed fornication, fornication is sent out of the marriage. That's a sin. But how good do you do to give my husband here to your fornication to friends? You could get delivered for that sin. You could repent today and ask God for forgiveness. Ask God to forgive you from your fornication, from your adultery, from your idolatry, your worshiping idols. The Bible says you only worship God, only Jesus Christ. If you follow any person other than the Lord Jesus Christ, you're a consider an idolater. But what time is the Bible study? Okay.